Hi, welcome to my tips and tricks. My name is Brett Combs. I'm an applications engineer from the Richmond, Virginia office. Today we're going to be looking at the predefined views command. Predefined views, they're a great way to automate and standardize the creation of views when making a drawing. Now, currently this process is being done manually for me, so let's go ahead and make a drawing out of this part and take a look. I'll come up here and make a drawing from this part, and I'll choose my A size template. You'll notice as the drawing opens up, I'll have to manually insert these drawing views either from my view palette over on the right hand side or I could use the model view button. But let's see how we can automate and streamline this process. First, I'll go ahead and close this drawing and I'll make a new drawing without a part associated to it. And this is going to help me set up my template. I'll just choose that same A size drawing template and make a modification with it. So first, I'm going to cancel out of the model view command. And then on my drawing views tab, I'll search for my predefined view command right here. I'll drag and drop a predefined view in the bottom left-hand corner of my paper. And then on the left-hand side, you would expect to see all the drawing view properties such as orientation and your display style, different scales that you want to associate to it. And I'm going to leave this pretty much the same, except for maybe I'll change the scale of my drawing view. Instead of matching the paper, let's make it one to three. So now that I've defined my front view, let's go ahead and make a projected top, right, and isometric view off of it. I'll come back to my drawing view tab and click on my projected view. The properties of this project, projected view are going to borrow the same properties from the parent view, which I just laid down. So I'll drop one above it, I'll drop one to the right, and then let's make an isometric view. And to break the alignment, let's go ahead and hold down control and place it in the top right hand corner of my paper. Now the one view that I do want to have a different display style on is going to be my isometric view. So I'll go ahead and activate that view and then change the display style to shaded with edges. Finally, my drawing has to be saved as a new template. In order for me to understand where SOLIDWORKS searches for these templates, I'll need to go to my gear icon at the top and choose my system options. Then I'll click on my file locations, and I see that my document templates are currently saved on my C drive under SOLIDWORKS training files, training templates. That looks like a good spot to save it. So my last step here is to do a file save as, and then change my file type from an SLD DRW file to a DRW DOT file type, a drawing template. And then I just want to make sure it mapped it to the right location, which is my C drive, SOLIDWORKS training files, and then my training templates. Let's give it a name that stands out. Now that I'm done with my drawing, we'll go ahead and close that out. Now let's see how this process is automated. Now that I'm done working on my sheet metal part, I'll make a simple drawing view from it choosing my predefined views, and then all of my views populate with the associated properties that I assign to it in my predefined view template. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you have any questions regarding predefined views or any other drawing tips, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you.